Welcome to the Central Florida Gardening Show. Hi everyone, welcome to my garden once again. I know it's been a while, but I'm very glad that you came back to see us. And uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an update on the beginning of my fall garden because it's Florida. This is our season, whereas England and Minnesota, I'm thinking of the people that I watch on YouTube, um, up north Virginia, uh, they're kind of shutting down unless they have greenhouses. So we're starting up because in summertime the bugs are real bad, it's too hot, uh, mold, blight, you name it, we've got it. So just give you a rundown on my garden real quick. Please excuse the dogs and occasionally the airplanes. Um, other than a muzzle, there's nothing I can do about it. So, um, this is kind of my juicing area. <laughs> um, I have the red Russian kale, and this is from Baker Seeds, and I really like it a lot. It's, it's great for making chips because it's flatter than the curly kale, um, and it's great for juicing. And, of course, this I will be cutting back pretty soon to um, either blanch and save for a smoothie, to juice, or to make in a salad. This is flashy trout salad, or uh, lettuce, and it's beautiful. It, it's, it, it's, a uh, see if you can see that. It's purple and green, and it's just beautiful. It kind of looks like a trout, and it's bolting now, and I will save seeds from the bolt. And a friend of mine from Seed Alliance gave this to me, and I absolutely love it. It's not bitter or peppery like a lot of the, the um, lettuces are sometimes, arugulas and such. I just really like it a lot for juicing and for salads. So if you're ever needing seeds or, or want to try something new, the flashy trout is, is really good. Um, so I have kale, and then I have the flashy trout. Down below I have, this is a slow bolt cilantro. It is bolting now, but generally when we grow cilantro here, it doesn't last as long as this one has. So really the, the, the cilantro is, is held up really well now that it's bolting. I also have some other um, kale that um, I just started a little while ago, and it is going to... Um, take over what this is doing and then I'll of course rotate crop rotation and move things around a little bit. <laughs> I have some spinach in here. There was some red basil. There's a stick. I don't know what happens. It died. So I need to put more red basil in there because I really like that a lot. Um, I also have peppers on the top and they're just bell peppers and they do really well. Um, this stem, if it's an airplane, this stem kind of started growing down, and I thought I broke it, and it kind of looked like it was broken, but it's fine, and it's got a nice size pepper growing now. I mean, I, I, it's got a couple more weeks, probably, but it's got, you know, five or six blooms and five or six peppers on it. But being the depth of this garden box, I'm surprised that these peppers have lasted. Uh, two years, maybe even three, and I keep them pruned short, and they do really well. I continue to put compost in there, rabbit poo, you know, whatever, you know, it may need. Um, it does get attacked yearly at least twice by spider mites or aphids, and, um, you know, I usually treat with neem or BT, and that works really well. It's just a weekly application really at some point in time to keep that under control. So we'll go over to kind of the area I was working on today. I do have a tripod so it kind of gets jumpy sometimes, sorry. So, <coughs> excuse me, this is a uh, blueberry and I'm pretty sure I need two to um, so they cross pollinate. So I will get another one, but right now it's doing really well. I, 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 I need to look up how to trim it and prune it, um, but it's doing really well. I have a jalapeno pepper back here, and it's got two peppers on it right now. And usually we get about two peppers a month, 
and that sucker's four years old, and I've moved it twice, and it's still producing. It's spindly because I didn't prune it like you're supposed to prune peppers um, at first, so it, but it's still producing. I'm oh, fine. Roseberry, it's doing all right. I'm actually gonna put some straw on top of it to keep the moisture good. Um, I love rosemary, and I had a big, huge bush, and that's what I want again. So I'm kind of waiting, hoping that that does. Now, what you're looking at here is uh, a, a failed attempt at growing a market more cucumber. I got one cucumber, and it was kind of funny looking anyways, but it was good. Um, but I've been attacked by aphids, some type of cutworm, or cornworm of some sort, and I'm trying to keep it going, but it, 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 it's a fight. It, it, it's constant, and it just... You know, today it, I watered it and the leaves all drooped and it just looks awful. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll try. I'll keep trying. I'm not giving up. You know, it's just I never have good luck with cucumbers. And behind it is a lupa, and I wanted it for the sponges, for the cleansing sponges. But um, also you can eat them, and I never knew that, and I thought that was really cool. So I brought one in yesterday. My dog ate it. I didn't realize how close I put it. And when you have a lab, they they can jump up on the counter and eat whatever. So she decided she's a vegetarian <laughs> and ate my loofah. So then I was like, oh, it's okay, I have another loofah. Well, this morning I come out and the loofah's been eaten by something. And I'm thinking squirrel, bird, or rat, I'm not sure or what. Um, so, but I, I have a loofah here. I don't know if you can see it from that far away. And there's where he ate. And my loofahs also um, have had aphids on them. And they've also have black ants all over them. So are the black ants helping me or hindering me? I haven't decided yet. Um, but it's a prolific plant. It's, it grows really well. And I got these seeds from friends on Seed Alliance too. So thank you very much if you happen to see this. And here is my pride and joy one bed. Because I just, let's go a little further back. I don't have a lot of room in my backyard. Behind me is a pool that I'm trying not to fall in. So I went ahead and did seedlings in, planted seeds, and these are my seedlings, and I did them September. And in the back, you see the seedlings are sugar snap peas, and then you see a bunch of sticks in front of them, maybe. That is butternut, uh, or, um, everything's butter in my, <laughs> I love butter. Uh, that is butter beans. <laughs> that a friend gave me from Alabama. So all across the back. And then um, carrots. I have Nancy's and I have Imperial, which Praxis gave me. And then in front of the, the carrots, I have all sorts of greens. I have kale, spinach, butter crunch. See, another butter. And collards. I think that's it. So then we go over here and I have Swiss chard and rainbow chard, which I got seeds from friends too. And then I have tomatoes and peppers in the corner over here because the sun comes in from here. So everything on the outside is going to be taller. So we've got vines back there, bushes, and then we have, you know, the peppers and the tomato. They might outbalance each other. I'm not sure yet. But um, I'm, giving her, I'm giving it a try see what happens. So, um, so that's my garden I worked on today. The fence will be changed. It's kind of ugly, but it's keeping the dogs out, and that's the main reason why it's there. So, on to the next. I have my other raised bed, and there's a bag in my pool. I don't know why, but that's my big pool. So, I don't have a lot of room, but this is my butternut squash, and it's doing really, really well. I was really surprised at how well it does. It seems like squash and me don't get along with all the bugs and everything here, but I've got about 10 to 12 butternut squash on this vine and it's a beautiful vine I love it I love the flowers everything about it so I'm just hoping that I can keep the squash growing without being you know attacked by whatever wants to attack it and then I also have one more squash and that's the patty pan they look like little spaceships um, from what I've tasted, they taste like yellow squash, and I don't like yellow squash, but I love the way they look. So I am going, I, I thought this was this plant was going to die. I thought the butternut was going to um, totally, you know, shade it out, but it, it's doing well. So I have a couple in there. I'm happy. And there's a butternut squash. Macho Nacho. 
is a jalapeno pepper. And <laughs> they're not listening. Um, and then next to it, I have a pepper, which I'm not sure what it is. Um, it's getting dim out here. But it's hot. It's hotter than a jalapeno. And my husband loves them, and they do turn red. Um, it's a small, short plant. I mean, it's not, it's kind of tall, I guess, but, you know, it can get tall. But, um, I don't know what it is, but he loves it. And then I have basil. And then this is a Praxis gift seed giveaway that he had. And this is a yellow, hush, really? Yellow Tom Cherry. And this is like my fourth take, and those dogs are still barking, and I'm going to just uh, go nuts. So, sorry. Um, but I ripped out all my tomatoes in July, June, July, because of blight, and I planted this seed in September, and it got attacked by something, and it looked bad, and I sh just cut it all back, and it looks beautiful. Now, there's some yellow down at the bottom and stuff, but it's doing really well. So I'm going to sign off because my dog won't shut up. But thank you for visiting, and I hope you can continue to come back. And I'm going to continue to do video through the fall and winter, and hopefully spring, um, if everything survives. So subscribe, like, and enjoy your day. Thank you.